have news now to report involving our network. CNN President Jeff Zucker has just resigned after disclosing a consensual relationship with a colleague. Jeff has led our company, led CNN, for the last nine years. Joining me now is CNN Chief Media Correspondent, host of Reliable Sources, Brian Stelter. Brian, what more do you have? As you said, Kate, Zucker's been a larger-than-life figure at this news organization for nearly a decade, a pioneering figure. And now his resignation is stunning this newsroom and the news industry. Now, let me read you his memo in full and then put it into context for the viewers. He wrote to staffers a few minutes ago, quote, as part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, Cuomo, of course, fired last month, Zucker says, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today. Zucker continues in the memo here. I came to CNN on January 28, 2013. Together, we had nine great years. I certainly wish my tenure here had ended differently, but it was an amazing run, and I have loved every minute. I am grateful to the thousands of incredibly talented CNN and Turner Sports employees who helped make this such a joy for me and such a success for all of us. I wish each of you nothing but the best in the years ahead. Uh, that memo from Jeff Zucker a few minutes ago, uh, a, a stunner for the CNN newsroom and for Turner Sports, which he also oversaw in recent years. Now, the head of Warner Media, Jason Tyler, just announced uh, that he will be announcing an interim leadership plan shortly. In other words, he's not naming a new boss right away. That tells you this did happen very suddenly. Uh, the key detail not included in the Zucker memo is the name of his colleague. He refers to a consensual relationship with his closest colleague. Uh, that colleague is Allison Gullis, who is the head of marketing and communications for CNN and for Turner Sports. She has worked with Zucker for decades. They were together at NBC at the Today Show in the 90s, then at NBC Universal, and now at CNN and Warner Media. Uh, according to this memo, uh, um, according to the memo here, it was a consensual relationship that evolved in recent years, and that they and he did not disclose it, and thus that's why he's resigning. I just received, Kate, while we're speaking here, a, a statement from Allison Gullis as well. As I said, Gullis, the top marketing executive for CNN, she's remaining with the company, and here's what she says. Quote, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. Uh, Gullis going on to say, I'm incredibly proud of my time at CNN and look forward to continuing the great work we do every day. So this is a, a scenario where uh, you have people uh, who are working together for a long time, uh, then they start a personal relationship, and because they're both acknowledging they did not disclose it at the time, Zucker saying he should have disclosed it right away, that is why he says he's resigned effective immediately. Okay, we both know uh, he, uh, Jeff Zucker has been the rock for this organization. The last few days he has not been on the morning editorial calls. Uh, some people even noticed and wondered uh, if something was amiss. I don't think anybody uh, saw this coming this morning, an announcement like this. But I think if Zucker was on that call this morning, I know what he'd say. He'd say what's important at CNN is not the person at the top, it's the, the team we all play for. It's CNN as an organization. This news operation so much bigger than any single person. And so the news goes on, but now without the top executive. Yeah.